A brand new Tiki Taka Custom Tactics to use in FC24 and of course we are talking about one of the best Tiki Taka formations, of course I'm talking about the 4-3-3-5, a formation that is well known of how good of a Tiki Taka Custom Tactics, now these Custom Tactics are not only about Tiki Taka, no, they are actually really meta in game. On the defense, you will have the 4-4-2 shape on the defense, which is really good on the defense. So on this video, lads, I'm going to show you one of the best Tiki Taka custom tactics that you can use right now with the 4-3-3-5 in FC24. With that being said, before we jump into the video, if you're not around here, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video, that will be always appreciated. And if you want to support your national team during the Euros and buy the latest Euro cards in FC24, head over to lootpar.gg. With lootpar, you can safely buy FC24 coins with the best service that you cannot find on any other platform. Not only that, also they offer 24-7 support and delivery, and they are throwing in 5% bonus, so if you buy 1 million coins, you'll get an extra 50k for free. And that's not only for newcomers, no, it's for everyone. Many huge content creators are using lootpar.gg. You can use my code Y5K to get yourself an extra 8% off. You can find the link down in the and now let's jump straight into the custom tactics, starting things up with the defensive style, of course I'm going with balance, with on the defense I'm going for 40 and for depth I'm going with the 60 depth. Now you have got two options with this formation, you can go with the 60 depth which is the safe option especially against counter attacks, the second option is to go with the 65 depth, with that you will get more high press in game which is absolutely great in FC24, we all know how OB high press is in game, but at the same time you might struggle against counter attacks if you are struggling to defend in FC24, for me I'm using 60 depth and it's going absolutely great. Great. Moving on into build a play, I'm going with balanced chance creating, direct passing. No, I'm not using position, I'm using direct passing. Like I said, these custom tactics are about tiki taka and meta at the same time. With on the attack, I'm going with a 35 foot, and that's for the tiki taka in game. As we all know, it's already a wild formation, so you have to narrow it down a little. Plays in the box, I'm going for six corners and free kicks for me. I like to go with two. These are all the tactics. Let's move on straight into the player instructions. Starting things up with the defense, right center back, left center back, goalkeeper, everything everything on default, right back stay back while attacking and overlap, left back no stay back while attacking just overlap, with that your left back is gonna help you on the attack when there's some space that he can run into, don't use join the attack with him, no just overlap, with that he will get in behind when there's some space that he can run into and if there's no space for him on the attack he won't join the attack, he will stay back while attacking and help you on the defense which is better than using join the attack in my opinion. Moving on into the middle feeders, let's start things up with the CDM, what I'm using with him is stay back while attacking and cover center and right here you just need a CDM, a player with absolutely great defending and physicality at this stage of FC24 I recommend using a player that has got the high defending work rate, so right here just use a a proper center defending mid, a player who can help you on the defense by intercepting, tackling, and stopping a counter attack because you're not gonna see him on the attack, you're only gonna see him on the defense. Moving on into the center mids, let's start things up with the left center mid. He's going to be a defensive box to box, he's gonna help you on the attack sometimes. But most of the times you're only gonna see him on the defense intercepting, tackling and stopping a counter attack. So right here you need a box to box with absolutely great all rounded stats and absolutely fantastic defending and physicality. Like I said he's going to be a defensive box to box. Yup sometimes he's gonna help you on the attack by assisting, scoring or maybe just holding up the play with his dribbling. But most of the times he's gonna stay back while attacking and play like a CDM in game. For his instructions stay back while attacking and cover center as well for the left center mid. Moving on into the right center mid who is going to be your attacking box to box, right here you need a box to box with absolutely great attacking stats, sometimes you're gonna see him scoring, assisting, dribbling, playing wide, at the same time he will help you on the defense, he will be covering the wing on the defense, so use a box to box who has got good all rounded stats and a box to box who can go for a long shot, a lot of times you're gonna see him available to go for a long shot. For his instructions stay on it for cross and that's it, no cover center, like I said on the defense he will be covering the wing. Moving on into the attack let's start things up. With the left wing who's gonna be the last player to help you on the defense what i'm using with him is come short come back on defense and get into the box for cross with that he will come back on defense and he will be covering the wing on the defense left wing right center mid covering the wing cdm and left center mid covering the center and you will have the 442 shape on the defense which is absolutely great for the defense and on the attack he's gonna be mixed sometimes you're gonna see him trying to get in behind and break the defense line and sometimes you're gonna see him coming short and asking for the ball and playing it tiki taka and for him there's no cut inside so mostly you're gonna see him playing as a winger in game, always playing wide. Moving on into the right wing who's going to be your second striker or maybe your main striker on this formation to be honest. What I'm using with him is stay forward, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for cross. With that sometimes you're gonna feel like he is your main striker on this formation. On some matches he's gonna score more than your center forward. 
He's gonna cut inside and always try to get in behind and break the defense line. And of course, when he cut inside, your right back who's on overlap, no stay back while attacking, will try to get in behind and provide with. So for the right wing, you can call him the main striker on this formation. You need a player who can play as a winger and as a striker at the same time. A player with absolutely great pace and dribbling. And of course, he's gonna be scoring a lot of goals for you. So of course, you need a player with absolutely great shooting and the finesse play style plus. Now moving on into the center forward, who's going to be the playmaker on this formation. Now, of course, sometimes you're gonna feel like he's playing as a striker trying to get in behind and trying to break the defense line. But he's a center forward in the end and I'm not using get in behind with him. What I'm using with him is stay central and that's it. And that's for the tiki taka with this formation. Your center forward is gonna be the playmaker, always coming back, asking for the ball, and then deliver it to the right wing, left wing, right center mid, who will be always try to get in behind and break the defense line. So basically what I'm trying to say, you're not gonna score a single goal without your center forward touching the ball, assisting, or maybe scoring. So right here you need a player who can hold up the play with his dribbling, a player with absolutely great dribbling, a player who can deliver a good through pass to the right wing, left wing, right center mid, and of course a player who can go for a long shot. He's a center forward, not a striker. A lot of times you're gonna see him Available to go for a long shot. With that being said, let's disorder the custom tactics and the player instructions that I'm using with the 4-3-3-5. Really liking this formation and the Tiki Taka. The only time that I enjoyed playing FC24 is by using Tiki Taka custom tactics, and this is one of them. Really loving the 4-3-3-5, the center forward, always asking for the ball, always coming back so he can receive the ball, and then deliver it to the right wing, left wing, right center mid. Basically with this formation you're always gonna find a player who is available to receive the ball And like I said about the right wing he will be trying to cut inside and play as a striker in game While you have got your right back on overlap he's gonna try to get in behind and break the defense line Basically he's gonna be providing width on the attack and I recommend using a player that has got the whipped cross play style plus which is the meta in FC24, we cannot deny that. So for your right back, use a player who has got the whipped cross play style buzz. With that being said, lads, this is the video done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.